Checkpoint inhibitors have been tested in almost every disease now, including in breast cancer in each of the subtypes. The most common subtype, of course, is the HR positive, HER2 negative, which accounts for about two thirds of metastatic breast cancer. Unfortunately, in that large subgroup of patients, checkpoint inhibitors as monotherapy have been somewhat disappointing. And uh, response rates have ranged in the single digits for the most part. And even selecting for PDL1 positivity is still only around 10%. So it's not really been an effective strategy to think about monotherapy with checkpoint inhibitors across the board in HR positive or two negative breast cancer. We heard an interesting study at uh, 2021 AACR looking at a combination of pembrolizumab checkpoint inhibitor with exemestane aromatase inhibitor with Lupron to cause ovarian function suppression in pre or perimenopausal women. The rationale for this study was that uh, estrogen is known to be immunosuppressive. So by blocking uh, the estrogen pathway, along with uh, stimulating the immune system in a more effective manner, perhaps we would see more benefit uh, from this kind of strategy. So this study looked at um, uh, pre and uh, perimenopausal women with endocrine resistance, meaning that they had had prior exposure to endocrine therapy and were either pre-treated with up to two lines of therapy, uh, monotherapy or combination therapy, and had relapsed quickly if they got a CDK per six inhibitor less than the median, or if they were on adjuvant therapy with an aromatase inhibitor, they had early relapse. So these were uh, a pretty uh, resistant crowd of patients. The study is ongoing, and the report was only on 14 patients so far, 13 of which were valuable. The primary endpoint was an eight-month progression-free survival, and that was picked based on the historical experience with exemestine alone, where as a control arm in some of the other trials that have been done in this population, that uh, they only would have a progression-free survival of a few months, and certainly way less than eight months. Uh, for single agent aromatase in inhibition in an endocrine resistant population. So interestingly, in this very small group of patients, but uh, the, the primary endpoint was met, it was 69% uh, progression free survival at eight months, and the median progression free survival was 10.1 months. And uh, that looks very encouraging, actually. There was a, a PR rate of 38% and a, a disease control rate of 85%. And even the overall survival in this small group of patients was over two years. So this data looks pretty encouraging, uh, although, I, again, I must emphasize it's a very small group of patients, and we certainly need more uh, data and a much larger series before we can start to think about using this strategy or comparing the strategy in a phase three setting. But it definitely is promising as a strategy. Uh, it's uh, an interesting approach in these women that are young, premenopausal, and uh, particularly after first line therapy with a standard approach of endocrine therapy and a CDK4-6 uh, inhibitor, don't have a clear cut uh, second line uh, strategy at the moment. And so checkpoint inhibition might find its way into this group. 